Hello, in this second part of my capital budgeting series, I'm going to be discussing the uh, net present value, which is arguably the most widely used um, and perhaps most important capital budgeting method out there. And so as you can see here, the net present value method requires that we find the present value of all the cash flows that we expect to earn from this investment we expect to earn or pay by, for that matter and uh, so it includes both the uh, initial cash outlay as well as any other cash flows we're expecting over the term of the project and so if this whole thing all added up together comes out to be positive then we accept the project because we believe that the project will add value to the firm so here's a quick example we have two projects here A and B focusing on A first. As you can see, to the present value model, we substitute in the values to find that the present value of all of these cash flows, including this initial cash outflow, um, all cash flows are represented by the assigned, so the payments, the outflows have a negative sign and the inflows have a positive sign. So we find that all things considered, this is a good project because if these are in millions, it says that this project would add about $513.67 million to the firm because that is the net present value. So now for B over here, again we do the same thing and all things considered it comes out to be 679.22 again a positive result and so uh, we should accept uh, project B quick and easy to do this using your BA2 plus which is what I'm gonna demo right quick using A so again first thing you do here you clear screen and then click second clear TVM second clear work we may not be using that mode but it's good practice and then click CF alright cash flow all right, because that's what we have here and after you click cash flow notice how it is that previous work shows up so to get rid of this clear work and clear work is a second function so hit second clear work and boom it's gone so now let's go ahead and put in the values or cash flows so 5000 is is the initial cash flow with a negative so hit this key right here and then you see the negative and then hit enter scroll down to C1, C1 is 4000 enter, scroll to C2, C2 is 1000, bypass the frequencies enter, scroll down bypassing this to C3, C3 is 800 enter, scroll to C4 which is 600 enter, scroll to C5 which is 300 and we are done, enter, alright, don't forget to enter hit NPV for I which is really our notation is R for cost of capital type in 12 be sure to type in 12 and not 0.12 if you type in 0.12 the uh, system believes that that's 0.12 percent so this is 12 percent so type in as is enter and then scroll down again all of these commands are summarized right here and then after you scroll down hit compute and that's your compute key click it and that is your NPV right here Right? and in the same way you can calculate the NPV for project B now even better if you want to you can use this spreadsheet function to hook it up and here we go alright so that's project A alright and that's cost of capital and that's the NPV that's the function that we're gonna use so to recalculate this NPV I'm gonna hit equal there and then NPV and uh, open parenthesis and now be careful now for NPV the first thing is the rate you can see it right here so click on this and then comma and then be careful now again the first cash flow that you're gonna highlight uh, that you're gonna click on is cash flow in the first year which is this one right here so click here alright not the initial cash flow and highlight all of these and then close parenthesis and then separately subtract the cost alright by adding it in plus 
this cell. Why did I hit plus here? Well, because this is expressed as a negative. So if I had put in a negative here, I'm going to have a positive actually. All right, so to make sure that this is mathematically correct, I had to put negative here because negative, uh, uh, I had to put positive here because positive negative is actually negative. All right, so you hit uh, enter and that's it. And for this other one, we can do that real quick. Open parenthesis and that's the rate comma and get all the cash flows from the first to the last all right close and then subtract the initial cost all right and that's it right there and that's how you get it and so that's really all there is to it now we can summarize that if these two projects are independent again this would be like a warehouse this could be like a truck these are two separate projects the firm is considering because both of them have positive NPVs both should be accepted all right so we're gonna accept both now though but if they are mutually exclusive meaning that one of these two would have to be chosen so this could be a Ford uh, a truck made by Ford and this could be a truck similar truck made by a different company like General Motors and so in this case to maximize the value of the firm we should choose the project with the greater net present value and that's going to be project B all right and um, that's all there is to it if I may repeat myself but you do have a praxis here and here's a four-year project with these cash flows you can go the old school way by substituting and solving to get the answer or you can also use your BA2 plus and uh, put in the, uh, the cash flows or you can go the Excel route and either way you should be fine. That's it.